Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's take a look and answer the question, why do we have summers and winters? Why are there seasons? Well, it has to do with the tilt of the Earth, and I try to illustrate that here. And so here we're going to do it a little bit more geometrically, try to get a feel of what's going on. Now, even though I drew the sun very small, the sun, of course, is much, much bigger than the Earth in such a way when the rays from the sun come in, they pretty well come in parallel, hitting the surface of the Earth in either direction. And this is the Earth as it goes around the sun. Now, the Earth is, t is tilted relative to the ecliptic plane at an angle of 23 and a half degrees. So, if I go like this, this is an angle here of 23.5 degrees. And because of that, when the Earth is tilted like this relative to the Sun being on that side, you can see that much of the Sun hemisphere gets very much direct sunlight. Here's the equator. Maybe I want to draw a solid line to indicate the equator here. Here, let me draw a solid line to indicate the equator. All right. So the line directly above the equator here is called the Tropic of Cancer. That is 23 and a half degrees above the equator. Then we have the Arctic Circle, which is 67.5 degrees above the equator. And here I try to illustrate why. 67.5 degrees is 90 degrees minus 23 and a half, which is the tilt of the Earth. Now notice, when the Earth is like this, this is winter time for the Northern Hemisphere. Of course, it will be summertime for the Southern Hemisphere. And you can see then that the Sun will shine directly above the Earth and hit the Earth at a 90 degree angle here at the Tropic of Capricorn, which is 23 and a half degrees below the equator. Also notice here that the, Arctic, the Antarctic Circle here will still get a lot of sunshine and the entire South Pole region here all the way to the other side of the Earth where the Antarctic Circle hits here which is 23 and a half degrees below the pole or 67 and a half degrees uh, below the equator. Notice that on the, um, when it's summertime for them, it's wintertime for us, on December the 21st the entire South Pole region all the way to the uh, Antarctic Circle is completely lighted up, receive sunshine 24 hours a day on that day. Of course, as then the winter continues on, and for them the summer continues on, then the amount of uh, region here that receives sun, uh, total sunshine will, of course, get smaller and smaller and smaller over time. Notice here, the North Pole will, com will be completely dark in our winter time because the rays can only hit this point right here, which is the Arctic Circle, and you can see that the North Pole region will fall behind the Earth, it's completely blocked uh, so that sunlight cannot reach it, and so on December 21st, this entire region up here receives no sunshine at all for an entire 24-hour period. Of course, six months later, when the Earth is over here, the tilt is, of course, in the same direction. You can now see that the entire northern region here, the Arctic region, is completely bathed in sunlight. That will happen on June the 21st. All this region, all the way down to the Arctic Circle, will see 24 hours of sunshine on that particular day. And then on the Southern Hemisphere, you can see that the entire Southern region here, the, Ar the Antarctic region below the Antarctic Circle, will not receive any sunlight at all on June the 21st. Also notice that the sunlight will come directly and hit the Earth at a, right here, a perpendicular to the surface of the Earth at what we call the Tropic of Cancer, which is the line 23 and a half degrees above the equator. And that's why we have seasons. That's why, in this case, the Sun Hemisphere gets a lot of sunshine. It's a lot warmer here in the Sun Hemisphere, a lot colder in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, a lot colder in the Southern Hemisphere, and over here it's a lot warmer in the Southern Hemisphere and a lot colder in the Northern Hemisphere. And that's why we have the seasons, simply the tilt of the Earth and where the sunshine hits the Earth on particular days of the year. Hopefully that makes it clear for us.